Hi, Neil to tell you also see it back with the uh, 156 V6 accident repair project. That was a mouthful. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be changing the front subframe, um, putting a new wishbone on, and we're also going to be changing the front exhaust pipes because they are not going to survive the uh, change. So uh, let's crack on and get these changed. Right, been a busy boy this morning. I have taken the old subframe off, which is this one here. Uh, I'm just going to show you the difference in uh, in damage now. Uh, you can't really see much on the subframe, but it is uh, definitely twisted. Uh, it's mainly here, and it's kinking back this way. If you can see that one, you can see the dent there, and then there, it's nice and flat. Uh, the main impact, luckily the wishbone's taken it. There's a new wishbone, and there's the other one, as you can see. The bracket there has taken a lot of the impact, and it's also twisted it here. And there, underneath the car, just so you can see, there's no other impact damage. That's just where the uh, the wheels rubbed on there, where it pushed it back that far. And uh, I've pulled the drive shaft out a little bit further, just so we can uh, get the uh, the wishbone out without having to take anything else off. So now I'm going to get it all back together. Um, I'm not going to film any of this because you've probably seen me take subframes off uh, umpteen times. Um, if you do want to see me do it, I'll probably put a link into another video now. The problem we're having here, I've started removing some of the bolts already. Um, but here, as you can see, watch the movement in that. You're getting um, in the metal part there. We're getting uh, loads of exhaust gases coming out of there and this side isn't too far off either. So we've got uh, two brand new pipes to fit. Well, hopefully the right ones anyway. I was uh, told that they're correct. So uh, let's get these off. So there we go. There's our replacement parts next to our old ones. So well, let's get these fitted. Um, got these off uh, eBay. They weren't cheap. Um, so uh, hopefully they should be a good, uh, nice fit. So let's get cracking and get them fitted. Also got some uh, brand new gaskets to go with it. rusted away. There we go. Almost got stick the clamp back on. Right, we're all on the ground now. Everything appears to be uh, nice and straight. The suspension will need to settle because it has been in the air for a few days. Uh, I've still got loads of body work to finish off, so uh, I'm going to get cracking on that now and uh, hopefully get this car finished soon. So right, here we go. We've had its final polish. Have a look at that reflection there, out of all the, the dirt on the opposite side of it. Uh, that's all finished now, so it's pretty much ready for the customer to come and collect. The one thing I do need to do again, because I'm not happy with it, is sticking the side skirt on. Um, I have used some pretty good stuff, but it's still coming away again. So um, I want to take all that off, clean it up, and uh, probably use some Tiger Seal down there, and then I'm going to have to uh, hold it in place overnight and see if we can get that to stick there permanently. So there we go, it's been a long hard day, got a, a proper uh, dirty face today. Um, three episodes and done, this is quite a, a long involving one, so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And sorry it's taken so long to uh, give you the final part.
so there we go hopefully you've enjoyed this three-parter uh, it does still need a good uh, clean on the outside to get rid of some of the dust but uh, it is ready to go near enough now uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this three-parter thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already thanks a lot